Right, I don't think this is going to work, but hopefully no one will notice. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same little gag I did for the previous video. Three, two, one, action! Oh, it's a mic! Get to the cap! No, that didn't work. Deja vu, anyone? Well, not quite. Well, yes, quite. Ha! This is the Chiapa. Wait, Chiapa Rhino. But it's not the charging one, like the one I did before. This bad boy is the standard version, but it looks awesome. Let's get it open, let's see what the differences are, and see what we get in the box. Actually, I quite like this packaging. It's not going to beat the case, the hard case that that one came in, but this is pretty neat. Oh, the weight, and I love the colour scheme. Okay, so you get the same instruction manual as you get with the uh, limited edition one, so basically this is more for that. And as you can see here, the only accessories you get is the tool for your hop-up adjustment. And it comes in this sort of blister pack. Oh, ho, ho. Loving the colour scheme on this bad boy. Wow. Do you know, it's more of a sort of champagne colour as opposed to the silver that it's marketed as. Yeah, it's down as silver, but it's more of a nickel. So basically, it's silver with a hint of champagne or gold. <laughs> It may be difficult for you to pick up on that on camera. You might just be seeing silver, but when you look closely... Right, let's get rid of that horrid sticker. Okay, so naturally we're not going to dwell too long on this because I did that one before. Essentially the same thing. Now, again, like I said in the previous video, if you're not fussed about fiber optic sights or fancy schmancy markings, this is pretty much the same as that. And of course, you have that nice option of your limited edition colours. In fact, you see the cylinder on this? It's the same colour as the limited edition one. So that standard one over there, the entire metal section of that revolver is this colour. Again, on camera, this really just looks silver, but I promise you, in person, there's a hint of champagne. So all I'm going to do today is an accuracy test, a chrono test, and briefly show you the differences. And I'll start off straight away with the sight system. I mean, look at that. Because again, this one fully adjustable, and there's your front sight right there. And as you can see here on the standard model, you know, I almost hate calling this standard. There's nothing standard about this. This thing is gorgeous and it's different to what I'm used to. But compared to the limited edition, this is the standard one. And as you can see here, it doesn't have the fiber optic sights that you have the luxury of on the limited edition version. And from what I can see, you can take the limited edition sights and put them on the standard. And the same again on the front sights. And you know what? That's pretty much it physically. Apart from the markings, that's the only differences between the two. So if you're gonna go for the standard one, don't feel hard done by, okay? Don't be like, oh, I wish I had that one. And that moves me nicely to the markings on this standard version, because you still have that awesome looking Rhino logo and you still have your fully licensed trades. So yes, it says Rhino 50DS and all your real steel markings and a unique serial number. And of course, you have your airsoft markings. And of course, you have your grip, which is exactly the same as that, just a different colour. And again, your Rhino, but this one is not charging. <laughs> and right there is where you adjust your hop up. This is the way. So, yeah, again, same platform, 
as the limited edition one. Of course, the limited edition one has all your other extra Gucci bits on there, but it is exactly the same platform. Now, although you don't get one of these in the standard package, you can get them separately. You can pop this on there, then close it in, make sure it's on safe. And to me, that's just another nice added feature to say, hey, you can't use me right now or don't touch. <laughs> and like I mentioned with the uh, limited edition one, it really is a harder trigger pull <laughs> than most Airsoft revolvers. Doing it like that, not too bad, but oh my gosh, when you pull the hammer back like that, you would expect that to be even easier. No, oh my goodness, you've really got to give it a good old pull for it to work. But like I said in my previous video, the Rhino 50DS, whether it be the standard version or the limited edition version, they are now my favorite airsoft revolvers. Don't get me wrong, still love my Dan Wessons, but come on. These look so cool. Fantastico. Now, as you can see here, I have the same target that I used for the limited edition still on the system. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little red dot over each one of these and then use the standard edition to do a new accuracy test. And we're gonna see if there's any difference. Now, of course, you're gonna have the human error element because I'm gonna be holding it in my hands freestyle. But I just wanna show you that performance wise, hmm, both are gonna be pretty decent. Okay, so there we go. Now I know I could have just left it as it was before with those splatter marks on there. But if I start hitting anywhere close to those splatter marks, it will just make those marks even bigger. I just think it will be a lot easier for you to tell the difference between the two performances. Okay, so just like before, get the shells out. And unlike the limited edition, this one doesn't come with a moon clip, but who cares? I get to put them in old school style. <laughs> Nice. Take it off safe. There you go, a very comfortable, I'm gonna put that at about 340, yeah, about 330 to 340, which is absolutely perfect for gameplay, especially CQB gameplay. And you know, I have seen one or two comments stating, huh, only 330, only 340 for a CO2? Well, yes, in my Airsoft Armoury, I have tons of um, Airsoft revolvers and pistols that are CO2. They register way too hot for most gameplay arenas and sites and whatnots. So it is quite nice that Airsoft companies are now producing CO2 bad boys like this that you can comfortably use for gameplay. So there you go, people. Pretty decent results, loving the way it literally popped off one of those red dots. Again, you can appreciate how small these individual targets are. Look at the front of the Kiapa. Um, look at that. The front from the bottom to the top is almost the same size as the target itself. Look, I'm holding it right against the target. But yeah, pretty decent results and look. Perfect. <laughs> oh, love this. Sweet. 
So there you go people, thank you to everybody for watching whether you're a VIP member, a subscriber or just a casual viewer. Thanks, it's really appreciated and I'll catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel or my other one Mike's Tekken Toys plus movie memorabilia. Well, there goes those names again. <laughs> Matthew, oh, anyway, next video, I'm going to nail it. I'm going to be able to say every name perfectly. But yeah, they're like my executive producers. <laughs>